Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my website at Excel-Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Everything about Excel. Wanted to say I have a great big apology for being away from the site for a little while. I was traveling overseas on some projects, but I'm back and hoping to get as many posts out as often as I can. So please remember to hit that subscribe button also, uh, make sure you hit the notification so you get notified of my next video. Also, any uh, likes or comments are greatly appreciated. All right, let's get into this video. So a while ago, I posted a um, chart where I created a stacked column chart along with an unstacked or what's known as a clustered column chart. And so I had one uh, uh, clustered column chart and one stacked and Sierra went to my website left a comment on that video stating is there any way to add two clustered columns and a stacked chart uh, as well and we're going to show you how to do it uh, right here you see our specific data um, and so I'm going to show you how you can add uh, and can make this combined chart work within Excel all right, first off, um, this is how we have our data set up. We've got sales quota goal, which was our original um, content from our last chart. Uh, Ciara wants to add a sales stretch goal as another clustered column chart. And then tea and coffee are going to be stacked columns. What I recommend doing is that I'm gonna add three filler columns in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that, and this is gonna be filler uh, one, and then we're gonna have filler two, and finally filler Three. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these five series on the secondary axis and as a clustered column chart, we're going to put these two columns on the primary axis as a stacked column chart. And let's go ahead and do that. So highlight your entire range. We're going to go insert menu or ribbon. We're going to go over to the charts group. We're going to click on the charts and pick a 2D column chart of a stacked column chart. Let me make this a little bigger so that you can see what we're doing. And <clears throat> what we then we want to do is notice that Excel uh, does not always do uh, your chart the way you want it. Uh, so you sometimes have to switch the row and column. There'd be a link in the post so that you can understand why Excel is doing this. Uh, but go ahead and select your chart, select any data series in your chart, go up to your design ribbon. If you don't see your design ribbon, it's chart tools, design ribbon. Uh, and then you're gonna have a switch row and column button. Let's go ahead and do that switch row and column, and now we have our chart the way we want it with January, February, and March in our horizontal axis. And oh, we're gonna go to the next step, which is we need to move sales quota, stretch goals, and all of these fillers to the secondary axis and then change the chart type. So to do that, we're gonna select the chart. I then recommend selecting a series within this chart and if you've got Excel 2000, I think 13 and beyond, but definitely 2016 or beyond, go up to your design ribbon and there is a change chart type button. When you click on that, you're gonna get this dialog box here um, for changing your chart type. And why I like selecting that series is if you don't do that, you are still in the column charts. If you select a series and say change chart type, uh, you are immediately brought into the combo chart um, type. Uh, uh, and if you are not there, select that now. Then in 2016 and beyond, you've got this wonderful way that you can change your access on all of the different ones that we wanna move to the secondary access. Saves you a step, which is really great. And then I wanna change from a the sales quota stretch and filler goals from a stacked to a clustered column. Now it's very important that you first select the secondary axis before you change this. If you change your chart type first, it changes them for not only these, but tea and coffee also change to a clustered column because they're all on the same axis. Um, Excel does not like having clustered and stacked column on the same axis. Matter of fact, it prevents that so we have to move um, these over to the secondary axis to get the desired effect that you want. You'll notice in the preview run, you're already seeing exactly what we were looking for. Go ahead and click on OK. So you notice we've created our chart, but if we select one of the series, tea or coffee, you'll notice that that stacked column is larger than it's not uh, right next to the others. 
what Excel is doing is centering the stack charts on the axis values, which is January, February, and March. So this is centered over January, centered over February, and the filler columns that we've created on the secondary axis have pushed uh, our um, sales quota and sales stretch goal over to the far left. Um, but uh, it is not pushed it far enough. So we don't want to add a ton of series uh, to keep filling it over. So what I want to do is I want to change the gap width on these tea and coffee values. To do that, select your chart. Select one of the tea or coffee uh, series. Hit Control-1, and that brings up your Format Data Series dialog box, and you can change your gap width here to... Uh, let's go ahead and change it to 500 because I think that's what's going to work for this. And I'm going to go ahead and click on close. And you'll notice that the size of these columns are very similar now to my sales stretch goal and my sales quota. If you can't, uh, if you forget control F1, when you select your chart, you can go up to the format ribbon. You can pick a data element like series T or coffee and do format selection. It brings up that same format data series dialog box. So we have the chart that we want. We just need to clean it up now. Uh, I recommend deleting your secondary vertical axis by clicking on the chart, clicking on that secondary vertical axis and hitting the delete button. Likewise, I recommend deleting the filler columns or filler data series. They're all zero and they're not showing up on the chart. However, um, they're gonna show up and confuse your reader since they are in the legend. To delete those, click on your chart click on the legend, then click on a legend entry and hit your delete key. Once again, the legend, legend entry, there goes filler two, and I'm clicking on filler three, and I've deleted all of those, and now we have our chart. Now, one detractor of this chart is you'll notice that the stacked column is in the center, and then, um, so you have February kind of ah, and January off kind of to the right of the data set. Um, it is unfortunately the only way you're going to be able to do it since Excel is always going to center your stacked columns above um, above themselves uh, on your chart. Now, you there are an, one other option that you can do to get around this is you could split your sales quota and move it to the other side of uh, the stacked column. Uh, it just depends on what you're looking for. Let me show you what those look like if, and if you move those around. So this is what we're having the stacked, I'm sorry, the clustered column charts over on the left. This sample and this data, I've got three fillers and I've moved my sales quota and stretch goals over to the right. Same process applies, but you'll notice I've got the clustered column charts on the right of my stacked column, coffee and tea. Um, and then finally, you can split them. I've found that you don't need to add as many filler series if you split them. So you'll notice I have tea and coffee, the stacked column charts which are centered over your horizontal access labels are there. I've got sales quota to the left and sales stretch goals to the right. Um, what, it, what it does and why you need one filler, you do put all three of these, the sales quota, the filler, and the stretch goals on your secondary axis. Um, so when you put there, those there, uh, Excel is once again gonna try and center these as much as possible. And so you will have um, the left side is your sales quota in the center directly behind the coffee and tea column, which is zero anyway, is gonna be our filler column. And then to the right is our stretch goal. I hope you found uh, this chart uh, helpful. And if it's something that you'd like to do, please let me know in the comments below. Once again, smash that like button. And I really appreciate and make sure if you subscribe and hit that notifications. I uh, really appreciate all of your support. Thanks very much and hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to hit the like button and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking on the EDT logo and then scroll down and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you need more details or links, click on the step-by-step -step image. Finally, check out these other videos you might also like.